hello guys welcome to crisp digitals this is Chris uh, today I will be showing you guys how to set your your fonts to be default on your OneNote so trying to set a default font and um, um, font style and a number so instead of always going here to change it and always going here to find your fonts to change it you can just set it to your favorite um, font so you don't have to change it here all the time and of course you can go here and change it whenever you want a different font for your different project but um, just want to show you guys um, how, how to set this so you don't have to change it all the time if you don't want to change it if you like your favorite font I want to keep it like that all the time this is what you can do and also in this video I'm going to show you guys how to um, import files into your OneNote and make it your background some people already know how to make it make it the background by right clicking but um, some people still don't like the fact that they have to always answer the question of you know this print out thing let me show you an example of what I'm talking about so usually you know you have to click print out uh, let's say for example let's try one of my new ones I'm creating so this daily dark daily planner if I drop it here you see it's gonna ask me all these questions right and some people don't like it some people don't even know what it is if I click insert as printout then it's gonna insert it right like that it's gonna insert it then you're gonna wait and stuff okay but most people don't like to wait I'm gonna show you guys another way to do it quicker okay alright so the first thing I'm gonna do is show you guys the default setting of your font okay so to do this setting the default all you have to do is go to these three dotted lines right here they are settings alright click on it and on that, that you're going to see print and settings I want you to click on settings and now you're going to go to options all right and click on options now for those of you who don't know how to set your um, default colors or your mode you can use this you can just switch it from here okay you can just do light you can do dark I like dark okay I can use whatever your window is using all right that's just a side uh, note for you guys so if you know um, how to do that already you can just keep going down and you want to look for where it says default font all right so mine is set at monster app right here and it's always on 11 so for the sake of this I'm gonna change it to 10.5 so you guys can see that look at it just changed right there okay so now that would be the default if I had to leave it like that alright so that's how you can make your font you, you don't have to click any um, save or ok or apply you don't have to it's already done automatically so every time you say for example you open a new page and you start I see as, I, as soon as I click here it changed down to 10.5 let's try it again so if I click new it's it's on 20 because of the heading but when I click inside it changes to 10.5 all right and if you put yours as Arial if you put yours as um, Leto or Roboto or any other font that's what you're gonna see mine is set on monster app because that's what I normally use okay so that's one um, one of the things I wanted to show you guys here the second thing is the um, is the insert and print out using PDF now if you use PDF to uh, to import anything into your OneNote it's going to give you that list of three options to choose from and you have to pick print out some people don't like to see that some people don't even you know care for that you know others just don't want to use it I use both of them sometimes I like to use a PNG file instead of the PDF file um, 
sometimes i don't mind i'll use the pdf file and i just click what i want the print out option and um, the software i use to convert my pdf to png is inkscape i use inkscape a lot and um, i'm going to leave the link below for you guys to download it it's free it's open source you don't have to pay any money is the alternative to um is a free alternative to um, adobe illustrator so you guys don't have to pay for it it's 100 percent free and comes with all the features that you need so it's very easy to use and um, you can also use a website that is called let me just open the website for you guys so i i used it already today so it's called pdf to png.com and all you have to do is upload your file here and after uploading it is it's going to automatically start converting it into png and when you're done you just click on download and it will download right on your uh, download folder and you go there like for me i went here and i went show folder and i unzip it to unzip your file you have to right click and go to extract here and when you extract it it's going to show here okay this is where it's going to show right here and then you're going to use that um, picture and drag and drop it so let me show you guys an example if you have a if you have a um, inkscape to do it with inkscape i'll show you guys how to do it with inkscape so you go to the file after you open inkscape and go to the pdf folder all these are pdf you go to the pdf folder and you just drag see i'm dragging and i'm just going to drop it all right so it's going to show this and i'm just going to click ok then i just wait usually it doesn't take this long yours shouldn't take this long I have so much stuff on my laptop it's crazy all right so right now this is how it looks like all right so all I have to do all I have to do now is just saving it there's nothing else to do I'm just centering this so I can see everything but yeah, all I have to do is just go to export PNG image see right here export png image and i can just click export and give it a name let's just put it on desk desktop for now sake of this video and just put um planner and i just click see it's right here same png all right so that's where that's how it's going to save us png and i just click ok all right and when I click OK, I have mm -hmm. to go here and click Export. I if you just leave it like this, it's not going to export. So I'm, I have I have to click here that says Export and click Export, and then it's just going to export. Okay, after exporting, then I I'm going to lower this. So you can use either method, Is they are the same thing, okay? So now, what I can do, I'll go to, let me close this so I can show you guys again. Now to, as to import those um, files or one of the files that I just um, converted from PDF to PNG, I have to go to my folder and I have to go to where exactly I saved it. So it's on my desktop, right? So I go on my desktop and I'm going to look for the planner. Right here, it says planner. So all I have to do is drag it. When I drag it and drop it, it's not going to ask me anything. All right, it's just going to paste it right there. And all I have to do is just click on it and just drag and just drag it the way I want it and when I'm done 
I just right click and I'm set it as background, set picture as background and I click on it. So now it's been set as a background. Now it's part of this whole background. I can write on it. I can do anything on it. So I can just type anything I want to type on it. Hello. So now it's part of the background. I can't really delete it if I want to delete it. Okay. If for me to delete it, I have to go right click again and set and click set e um, picture as background. Now it's going to highlight everything and then I can click delete on my keyboard and it's gone. But if I want to return back to that, I can just go here and undo it or press control Z on your keyboard and undo it. And then I can right click again and set it back as my background. See now it doesn't move. It doesn't go anywhere. All right. So that's how you guys do this. All right. And um, if you guys are wondering, you know, how I got this. This is the new product I'm creating. I should be done hopefully by the end of this week. It's a lot to do because I have um, nine different colors. So that's why it's taking me forever to get them done. They are, they are getting there. It's getting done really good. So you guys, please be patient with me. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification so you will be notified every time I leave new videos. And please give this video thumbs up, guys. Please give it a thumbs up and leave your comments below. Ask me questions or whatever you want to see about OneNote and about digital planning. Let me know and I will be able to hopefully I'll be able to put them in my schedule so I can get them done. Thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day. Bye bye.